Crawford. Garcia Puig pinch hitting. And he will hit a ground ball towards short. Russell goes to Baez one. Over to first. The Cubs are going to the World Series. The Cubs win the pennant. High deep drive into left field. Down into the corner again. Benintendi near the wall. Leafs. He's hung up. Did he catch it? Oh, you got to be kidding me. He took one back. A spectacular play by the rookie. Hung up by the hips on the wall, and he brings it back down the left field line. What a sensational play. Fly ball, center field. NCRT on the run. Still going on the way to track at the ball. They've stunned a lot of people tonight. Maybe the catch of the year right there. The pitch. And a high drive. Hit back into deep right field. Junior has just knocked the door. Now from the Soto District of downtown Seattle, we've got baseball under the lights here at Safeco Field. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the New York Mets and the Seattle Mariners. It's Mariners baseball, and it comes your way next. Drew Smiley gets the call for game one of the series. What do you have for us on him, H? Well, Matt, his last outing, he gave up four walks. Now, sometimes I think you nibble on the corners when you need to. I just thought he didn't have good stuff or good command. So we'll see what the command and execution looks like in this game. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Valencia is under it, makes the play one away. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Danny, who stands out to you? Well, Michael Conforto has been a big piece for them. He's hit five home runs in his last ten games, so he's got to be oozing with confidence right now. He's the guy in that lineup that these pitchers have to hold down if they're going to even try to be successful. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Bases are empty, one man out. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. And HR, you take a look at these Seattle Mariners entering play here tonight. They come in trying to bounce back from a loss last time out, but they've been in good form lately, five and two over their last seven. Well, Matt, I mean, the simple way to put it, they lost their last game. This is where baseball comes the best to me, where all the cliches come in. You got to have a short term memory, and you really do. The game's over, you can't do anything about it. You got to come back today and play better and win. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Oh, look out. Hot shot to third, and there are two away. Batting third. The left fielder number 30. At the plate, Michael, Michael Conforto. Conforto. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Two out, nobody on. A fastball that just misses inside. Three and one. This guy, whoo, he's a good hitter. This is the kind of count gets him excited. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two-out walk. Batting four. Stepping into the box, Yoenis right Cespedes. Yoenis. He's not among the league leaders in home runs, but his total does top this ball club. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the 2 and 2 count. I think he comes back with a changeup here. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Calling for it, Valencia. 
And that's the third out. Mets strand one. Now it'll be the M's turn. No score. Robert Gesellman will be on the mound for the series opener. What's your take on him, H? Matt has lost two of the last three starts. A little bit of an inconsistent struggle, and hopefully this outing is a chance to turn it all around and start it in another direction. Here's Gerard Dyson. He was one for four back in Wednesday's contest. Now the pitch. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. HR, these Mets as they enter play here tonight, they've been in a nice little groove, winning three of their last four games. Well, Matt, they're playing good ball. If you look at the standings, they've got a nice, comfortable lead. But comfortable can be, it can be trouble. You've got to stay focused, keep your foot on the pedal, and just continue to put that opponent away because this little lead can dwindle quick. And now a quick look at the Mariners' starting lineup in this one. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Harold? I'll tell you what, this is one of those pitcher's parks you come in, you go, uh-oh, I could be 0 for 15 if I don't execute. And how do you execute in a pitcher's park? They throw you outside, take that base hit to right field. Don't try to do too much. You do what he gives you, you take what he gives you, and you move on. And he missed with that one. It's ball four, a one-out walk here in the home first. And that's the beauty of having a guy in the two-hole like him. Hurt. He's almost like another right, leadoff fielder. hitter. Working a walk with just one out. And I think there's a good chance that he's going to be on the move at some point. Here's Nelson Cruz now. And what a season he's having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Oh, and here's a fastball right down the middle of the plate that swung on and hit out to deep left field. And this one's not coming back. This is a long home run. A two-run dinger off the bat of Nelson Cruz. 34 home runs now on the year. And the Mariners move out in front two to nothing. Yeah, and that's what you call a dream scenario or an absolute nightmare, depending on your viewpoint. A power pitcher on the bump and a power hitter at the plate. A plus B equals see you later. It's simple math, folks. Striding in, Robinson Cano. He enters play hitting in the 260s for the year. One and one, here it comes. Took a wave at one around the shins with no luck. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Clyde Washington. Yeah, Matt, Clyde's known for that low strike, man. Sometimes maybe even a tad bit low on the knees. But as a hitter, if you know what he's going to call, it's okay. You can respect that. Just be consistent, Clyde. That's all. Seeger. Coming to the plate now, Kyle Seeger. He's entering play in this one, a home run shy of 20 for the season. Scorched to third. There to get it is right. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Mariners get a couple in the inning on the two-run home run. Second inning coming up. It's now 2-0 Seattle. Here's Neil Walker. He enters play with 14 home runs to his credit this year. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. He walked a guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. Dyson patrolling center makes the play one out. Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Mariners. And yes, they are moving all over the field. They love to ship heavily into the analytics, and they really move players around playing the percentages. You'll see that a lot in this game today. Coming to the plate now, Wilmer Flores. He's assuming the role of DH in this interleague matchup. Yeah, Matt, that's one of the funny things about National League teams playing in AL ballparks. 
all of a sudden the lineup kind of changes dramatically. But the cool thing is it gets more guys a chance to get some at bats or time in the field. In time to first and there are two away. Hey, not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. And he just misses with a curveball. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. Two and two count. Here it comes. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Dyson will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Down in order go the Mets. They're down two to nothing. Digging in, Danny Valencia. And this is a good looking matchup for him here. As you can see, he's hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right handers this season. Three and 0 pitch on its way. Oh, tried to check his swing there as this is hit to the left side. Throw by Reyes is right there for the first down. Well, let's take a look at the best defense brought to you by Majestic. And in the outfield, you aren't assessed for this. This guy's got maybe the best arm in all of baseball. It seems like every time there's a big moment or a big play, he comes up gunning and he's gunning guys at the plate. He is so fun to watch throw. Here's Leonis Martin. And he's a guy that's not afraid to run if he gets aboard. Comes in ranked second on the team in stolen bases. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. And a half swing here, but he pretty clearly went around, and it's 1 and 2 now. Now here's the pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And the catch out there made by Wright for out number two. Batting eight. First baseman. Now at the plate, Dan Vogelbach. He enters play hitting down in the 240s for the year. Here's the one and one delivery. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. I don't know what was going on with him in the first inning. He had a bad first inning. This looks like a totally different pitcher here in the second. Really starting to settle in, really starting to throw strikes. Ready to deliver the one and two. Two and two now with two away and the base is empty. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? But right there is the second baseman, and that will retire the side. Mariners are down in order. After two, it's a 2 0 ball game. And that brings up the catcher, TJ Rivera. And he is proving to be something of a non threat with a bat in his hands this year. The average isn't pretty. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Might have jammed him a little there as this is softly hit and foul off to the left. Another try at 2 2. And he lays off, so it's full now, 3 and 2. This is not the guy you want to walk right here. Look, the eight hitter, this could set up a big inning if he gets on. Swing and a flare hit toward right. That's a hit, the first of the game for the Mets. Into the box Batting now. Nine. Juan Ligares. Builder, he brings an average in the 260s into Ligaris. this one. Nobody out, runner on first. Wait, 
There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Hoping to send him packing pitch on its way. And that swung on and fouled straight back. Here he comes again one two and another foul ball. Here's another one two. Another one sent foul. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. Whoa, he tried to get a little cute right there, a little two strike change up. He thought he might get a swing and miss, but man, he left that in the zone. He's fortunate that ball didn't leave the park. Ah, and a good curveball gets him swinging for wrap number one. That's a pretty sad attempt at hitting a baseball right there. No doubt he was completely fooled because that was a curveball and it looked like he was late on a curveball. That tells me he gave up on it right till the very end, and obviously there was nothing he could do at that point. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And there's ball two now. The intent with that changeup away was one thing and one thing only. Get a double play ball. Nice job to lay off it at the plate, though. Two and one now to Reyes. And there he goes toward second. Sent out to straightaway center field. Dyson is there now and he has it two gone and he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up the third baseman number five digging in to try it again David Wright 0 for 1 for him here in this one here's the 1 1. Looks at a changeup right over the middle. Wow, not sure what they're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Left side. Segura backhands it deep in the hole, and he'll beat the throw to first despite a fantastic effort, and that ought to be scored an infield single. Well, that was a pretty play by the shortstop. Some people think it's a hot dog play, but that's the best way to jump and get rid of the Michael ball. He just Tom wasn't Porto. able to get it there in time before the batter got there. Into the box, Michael Conforto hey. takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Two down, runners at first and second. Nope. Full okay. count, three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. He'll try it again three and two and this misses for ball four the second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings that's a big no no he obviously had to right work carefully there. with two men on but he did not want to walk him to load the bases now he's really got his work cut out for him we'll see how he fares here here's you on Cespedes he's got an opportunity here in a bases loaded situation and seems like the right man for the job. I'd say so. He's the team leader in RBIs. Time for the right man in the right spot. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Shin high fastball that time, ball three. You can bet he's salivating a little in the box right now. He likes to drive in runs, and he's got a great situation and count to do that right here. He's set and the 3 and 1 pitch. Oh, and it misses ball four, and that will force home a run. And it's times like these that a pitcher feels awfully lonely. I can see why he didn't want to be too aggressive. Last thing he wants to do is give up a grand slam to a dangerous hitter, but walking in a run is painful too. And here he is again, still with the bases loaded. The one and two pitch. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. The side is retired. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Mariners lead it two to one. 
Here's the catcher Carlos Ruiz. Not the shiniest of batting average as he comes in hitting down in the 220s for the year. 2 1 pitch is a cut fastball taken for strike two. Set to deal on two and two. For the shortstop, Reyes. And a good throw gets him one gone. And with that, we give you a look at what's happening in the NL East race. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Gerard Dyson. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Ready to deliver the 1 and 2. To two balls and two strikes now. 2 and 2 count, here it comes. Hit pretty well out to deep left field. Conforto going back on it. And this will find the wall out near the visitor's bullpen. And he'll reach second now with one away. Left fielder really never had a chance at that one at all. It was over his head before he knew it. Bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. Digging in for his second at bat, Gene Segura. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. Hit on the ground for the left. And that'll get through past Wright and Reyes for a base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with right one away. In now, Nelson Cruz. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Now uh, back to the mound, and they may have him hung up here. Here's Walker for one. On to first, not in time, as the umpire was right there to make the call. Looked like that might be an inning-ending double play off the bat, but that was some great hustle to beat the throw at first. Keeps the inning alive, and more importantly, he gets an RBI because of it. A runner on first with two away. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Well, I thought with two outs right there in that situation, he probably had the green light 3-0. and Maybe he didn't get it where he wanted or get the pitch he's looking for, so he took it. But I think he's probably swinging here, too, 3-1. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook Third with two outs. And now he's got a runner in scoring Kyle position. Here. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. Two on, two out for him here in the third. And the 0-2 here is fought off at the plate and we'll do it again. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Oh, and a big swing there by Seeger as he gets a hold of one high and deep out to right field. Out of here and by a long ways, a monstrous three-run home run. So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field, and even 20 home runs for him now thus far, and it's now a six-to-one ball game. Wow, another long ball in the early going of this one. The second one he's allowed in just two and two-thirds innings. Might want to warm up those showers. He might be heading that way real soon if he can't keep the ball in the park. Into the box now, Danny Valencia. Hey. And this one is over, and he works the count back to two and two. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. But four runs score in the inning, three coming right here on the three-run home run. We're through three here in the Great Pacific Northwest. It's the Mariners six and the Mets one. Stepping up to the plate, Wilmer Flores comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Hit hard back up the middle. Cano towards second. He's got it. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now batting. Catcher. Travis Darno. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. 
Oops. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. If you're able to locate your fastball like that, you're going to have a good game. I'm not surprised to look up and say he's having a good game right now because he's been spotting that fastball pretty good most of the game. Ah, he'll try to take control of the inside part of the plate with the fastball as he backs him off a bit. Hey, that's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now, you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Again, he sends it out of play. One out, nobody on. And the payoff pitch is chopped foul at home plate, so we'll do it again. Still three and two. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. And that's low ball four. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. One run, two hits, and no errors on the Mets' line score so far. Tried to get him with the cutter, but it's a full count, three and two. Hey, not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three-two count, you send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Hard hit at third. Cano for one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Here's Leonis Martin. 0 for one for him here in this one. Ready with the one one pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. And Walker's throw is in time for route number one. Now batting. Striding in once again, Dan Vogelback. Hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Here's the one and one pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Bases are empty, one man out. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes, that elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that, but most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there, a big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Standing in now, Carlos Ruiz. This is hit high in the air and pretty deep down the left field line. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the Mariners. They hold on to their 6-1 to one lead. Ready for another chance? Juan Ligares comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Swing and a looper to left. Valencia. Coming in. He can't get to it. That's a leadoff single. So with that, the Mets have a runner aboard to get the inning underway. Number seven, Jose Reyes. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Two and one now to Reyes. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind 3-1. and one. Well, he falls behind 3-1 right now, but, man, he is really throwing the ball well. He's been attacking them all game. 3-1, and one, here it is. A called strike over the outside corner. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at-bat here. One run on three hits and no errors on the Mets line score so far. On the move again from first. And that gets down and we'll see if that's extra bases. 
And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Finally, they show some signs of life. These guys have been swinging the bats like they're underwater or something. But a single and a double, and now they've got runners on second and third. We'll see if they can cash them in. In now, David Wright. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Boy, he's got to want that pitch right there. I know he's been getting a few tonight already. But, man, he's around the plate. He's consistent. But like any pitcher, you want all the calls. He's set, and the two-one pitch. Just a bit high that time as he misses for a ball. Michael Conforto is on deck. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. Strike two called, and it's full three and two. Hits are now even at four apiece. Ground ball left side. Segura backhands it deep in the hole. Throw to first, not in time as the run is across to score. Well, we've always known this guy was a good hitter. You knew he was going to come out of it eventually. There's another multi-hit game. It's not one hit that gets you out of it, but the multi-hit game. Maybe this is the signs of things to come. Stepping in now, Michael Conforto. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Fly ball out toward left center field. Chasing after it is Dyson. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Here comes the Seattle skipper on his way to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So he'll head to the dugout after working just four and a third. Not enough to qualify for the victory, as his bullpen will have to go a long way to hang on to the lead. Chris Heston is going to take over here in inning number five, so it'll be a bullpen game from here on out. Joanna Cespedes will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3-1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. And that's more of a slur than a slider, but whatever it is, it's one and two. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're a guy that induces a lot of ground balls with a sinker, I think you have to stick with that plan. Pulled toward right center field. Dyson on the run. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. And the runner from third crosses the plate. Obviously, he's hoping for more up there with the bases loaded, but you can't be too upset with the sack fly. Ready for another shot now. Wilmer Flores. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Now a spin and a throw back to second. Let's go, Banner. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. Well, I like the pitch idea. It looked like he tried to get into chase right there, making him think that ball's over the plate and it runs away, but he laid off it. I don't know how, but he did. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Oh. 
He's set. Here's the three and two. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Now batting. Catcher. Travis now at the plate, Darno. Travis Darno. Eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. Throw over to the bag. Bases are loaded here, two down. And he lays off again, ball three. Hey, two walks in this inning already, so he can't expect to stay out there much longer if he puts somebody else on. We'll see if he can find it. He's set. Here's the 3 1. Sliced hard on the ground. Stopped on the slide by Cano. It's in time. So they do strike for two, but it could have been much worse as they strand the bases loaded. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Mariners six and the Mets three. Here's Gerard Dyson. One for two with a double on his line thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Ligares is under it. He's got it one away. Now batting. Digging in and looking for more, Gene Segura. He singled his last time up. Here's the one and two delivery. Sliced hard but foul. Look out over there. One out, nobody on. Swing and a liner, but this will be foul. High pop up. Reyes is there for it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The right fielder, number 23. Now at the plate, Nelson, Nelson Cruz. Cruz comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Bases are empty here with two men out. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Mariners are down in order as they're unable to add to their 6-3 to three lead. Digging in once again, T.J. Rivera, one for two on his line so far in the game. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. A shot to second base and handled for the first out. The center fielder number 12, Juan Lagares. Here's Juan Lagares, a hit in two tries so far. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Hey, that pitch was way down on two and two, but give the hitter some credit there. Sometimes with two strikes, you're more off to expand the strike zone, but he didn't and held off on that one that wasn't even close. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Digging in and looking for more, Jose Reyes. He's working on a one for three thus far. And double barreled action now in the Mariner bullpen as both a left hander and a right hander start to throw. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. David Wright would be next. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And this is down at the knees, but called a strike. Wow, it's three and two now. And the pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. And here's a ball hit in the air. Segura ranging into the outfield. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Mets go down one, two, three. They're still doubled up. It's six, three. Ready for another shot now. Robinson Cano, 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. 
even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. Lifted the other way to left center. Ligares is under it. And that's the first out of the inning. Third baseman number 15, Kyle Seeger. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Kyle Seeger he comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch to first. Rivera scoops it up, and he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Now batting. Ready once again, Danny Valencia. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. This one's chopped foul right at the plate. The count moves now to 1 and 2. Ready to deliver the 1 and 2. Foul back. Again, a 1 2. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Former cover boy David Wright leads things off when we come back. It's the Mariners six and the Mets three. Welcome back to Safeco Field here in Seattle. The Mariners out in front of this one as we move to the seventh. But before it gets underway, let's give you a look at the game summary to this point. Here's the third baseman David Wright two hits in three at bats for him in this one. And the pitch on two and one. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low it's ball three. Well that's ball three and the Mets right now would take a leadoff guy on any way they could get it. Three one pitch is a slider and he can't pull the trigger it's three and two now. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Shows some great patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. Ready for another chance? Michael Conforto. A couple of walks for him thus far. A runner at first with no outs here. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Well, with the leadoff man getting on right there, Matt, they are falling so far behind, they have to capitalize. They have to get some runs to get back in this thing. Ready on one and two. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. And there goes right. Pitch misses the throw down. It's right there, and he is out trying to nab second on a great throw by Ruiz. A lot of times, if a guy is going, it's going to be on the first couple of pitches, but he waited it out that time. Didn't matter, though. A good catch and throw, and they nabbed him at second. Bases are empty, one man out. And a foul tip is held onto here behind the plate. A nice job by Ruiz to preserve the strikeout. Well, I'll have to give credit to him on the I'll mound for not the letting man. that previous pitch right get him. He wanted Joanna's it, but he didn't get the call. Center. But I love how he didn't let it affect him. And he comes right back with another good pitch and gets the punch out. And down in the Mariner bullpen, it looks like a right-hander's up the throw. Into the box now, Joanna Cespedes. Missed with the curveball there, and he falls behind a 2-1. and one. Two and one now to Cespedes. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. Grounded to third. Throw gets him at first. And even the East German judge gives that one a score of 10 as the side is retired. And he questions as to why this guy's a gold glover. Didn't think so. It's back to Seattle right after this. Rafael Montero gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seven. Rafael Montero.
Here's Leonis Martin. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Swing and a hard hit ball down the line in right. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. When it left his bat, I thought it might score foul, but it hugged the line and found its way into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Dan Vogelback. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Working for the punch out and the offering. And this is chopped foul at the plate and he stays alive still 0 and 2. Here comes another 0 2. And a fastball just a bit high. Set to deal on a ball and two strike. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. On the mound, he's thinking, grab some pine, Rook. Listen, for almost everyone, the adjustment to hitting big league pitching is a big one. Some guys have success when they first get called up, but as soon as teams start figuring out how to get you out, that's when the learning process really starts. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Conforto will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. The center fielder. Digging one. in to try it again. No Gerard Dyson. Dyson. He flew out in his last at bat. The He's set going, and man. the 1-1 pitch. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. He is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. Pretty unusual decision to swipe third with two outs in the inning. It's a big risk, especially with the lefty hitter up there, and the benefit isn't all that great, but he made it work out. Looking for the strikeout, here's the one two. And this is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory. Conforto is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Nick Benson has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Number 50, Nick Benson. Here's Neil Walker, 0 for 2 with a sacrifice thus far. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. This is on the ground over to first. Vogelback ranges to his right and he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Well it wasn't anything special on that single but he'll take it an infield base hit but Jesse to me it's more of the situation the Gilmer. game's close and it's late and he did anything he can to get on base way to put the ball in play. One and one here it is takes a knee high fastball. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Just got a piece up the line. And indeed, no look at second. He'll go straight to first and take the sure out. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Over two with a walk for him so far. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Slider stayed too low. Ball two. Now a look and a throw back to second. And he's back in standing. Come on, let go of the and he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Back to back sliders away. Now I think you have to think about running something hard in. Not a good idea to throw a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. A swing and a ball to left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Walker rounds the corner and is headed home. 
And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. He just sports that ball off the wall, and now, now the question will be, the should he have continued on or not? He thought about he pushing it, I'm sure, but decided to play it safe. It would have been close, but I think this time he's probably right in staying at first. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. And, Dan, what's the plan of attack here for the guy on the mound? Well, I think they have to go right after him. He's pretty unlikely to take the deep. But if you allow him to get on base, the chances of him scoring and tying this game become a lot greater. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. With two strikes and the runners at the corners, this is a big pitch coming up. Got to execute to hope to either get a strikeout or a double play ball to help you get out of this thing. And that swung on and fouled straight back. I like the pitch right there. Got him to chase a fastball out of the zone. I'd come back with it again. And he'll be run up here by Clyde Washington. Strike three at the knees, and they're on two away. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Here's Juan Ligares. And, Dan, this could be a real make-or-break situation at this point in the game. Yeah, Matt, at least scoring one run in this inning is so important to them to possibly get back into this thing. Baseball doesn't right, have a clock, play. but you only have Bench 27 outs match. to work with. They're Number running three. out of those pretty quick. High fly ball after straightaway center. Dyson is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Two left for the Mets. Can't cut into that 6-3 deficit. Curtis Granderson will stay in the ball game as he takes over in center. Now playing center field, number three. Striding in once again, Gene Segura. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. Hit hard on the ground to second. Fielded cleanly by Walker. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. The right fielder, number 23. Here's Nelson, Nelson Cruz now. Cruz. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Ready to deliver the one and two. And a neck-high fastball that time. Right there is a temptation pitch. Power hitters like this are looking for pitches that they can drive. So that may have been one where he was trying to get him to chase up above the zone a little bit. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. One out, nobody on. Lifted in the air out towards left center. And plenty of room out there for Granderson. And there are two away now. The batter, second baseman. Here comes the Robinson. second baseman, Robinson Cano. Cano. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Hard liner to center field. And that is in there for a two-out base knock. Great recognition. He's looking for a ball up. The breaking ball hung, and he Third stayed with it. When they're 15, up high, let it fly. Miles when they start out Peter. low, you got to let it go. Into the box, Kyle Seeger looks at a changeup that catches the corner. Hit out towards second. Walker has it. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Mariners leave one. They still lead it six to three. Ready to start the ninth as we get a stunning shot there of the Seattle skyline on a great night for baseball. Edwin Diaz comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He'll start things out against the closer, Edwin Diaz.
He's set. Here's the 3 0. Line to the right side. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Well, that's what you want right there. Late in the game, leadoff single. Now, they still got some work to do. You got the time run on the on deck circle, but they've got a shot now. Standing in now, David Wright. And he takes a called strike two. And the slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Two two, here it is. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Valencia has a play. One down. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now at the plate, Michael Conforto. He's 0 for 2 with a couple of walks in this one. He's set. Here's the 2-2. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Valencia is there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. And the plate, Joanna Cespedes. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. And now the crowd estimated at over 29,000 come to their feet. This one's down to third. Throw on to second for the force, and the ball game is over. Always nice to get the first game of the series, but even more so when it's in front of the home crowd. Seems to energize everybody the rest of the series. And tonight's comes to an end, 6-3 to three the final. The Mariners, with their 50th team win in this one, Chris Heston earns the victory out of the bullpen, his fifth. Robert Gesellman struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. Edwin Diaz records the save, his 27th of the campaign. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Final line score tonight. First for the victorious Seattle Mariners. Six runs, six hits, no errors. The 2 0. He throw to right and deep. Back goes Para to the wall, and it's off the wall. 3,000 is in right field, and Ichiro is racing for third. And he's done it. He's climbed the mountain. A triple. And he has arrived at 3,000.